Hi, I'm Liz, and I'm on the developer relations team at Shopify. In this series, we're covering the basics of Shopify app development and the tools available to help you build them. In the last video, we covered Polaris and added an empty state to our app. In this video, we'll be covering Shopify Average and learn how to start using some of the included components. Shopify Average is the way to embed your app in the admin, POS, and mobile apps. It allows you to use some UI elements that are usually just a part of the Shopify admin. This creates the type of consistent and familiar experience that merchants love, and it's good for developer experience. Rather than building different front-ends for admin, POS, and mobile users, Shopify Average allows you to use a single library to access a common set of UI that are available in context any place a merchant may use your app. Shopify Average includes base-level features like JSON Web Token-based authentication, but also batteries included features like modals and resource pickers. It also allows you to access information about the current cart on POS. Shopify Average even lets you trigger Toast Messages, UI that's usually just reserved for the Shopify admin. Today, we're going to be using Average to add a product picker to the empty state page that we added in the last video. The resource picker is a pre-built interface that allows you to find and select products and then return the resource back to your app. The app we're going to be building would allow merchants to select products from their store and then apply a random price to them. In this video, we'll be adding a resource picker so the merchant can select which products they want to be randomized. First, we'll go back to the index page that we were working in last time. We're gonna keep the empty state component, but there's a few things we have to change. We can add state to track if the resource picker is open. And next, we'll add the resource picker component. It should open and close with our state. We can also add a title bar to the top of the screen with its own button. This button will do the same thing as the button that's part of the empty state, but it will be displayed all the time, not just when there's no product selected. Lastly, we'll add a function to handle when the selection is made and log any product selections to console just to make sure everything's working correctly. Now in your embedded app, clicking on the select products button will open up the add products modal. Using average components is the best way to build your app into the Shopify admin. In the next video, we'll cover the GraphQL API and making our first API calls. For links to the code that was used in this video, check out the video description. For more information on building Shopify apps, make sure to subscribe to this channel and check out the documentation on shopify.dev. Join the Shopify Devs Discord server to meet fellow developers and ask questions.